that I can see and make sure that one's going, that one's going, the screen is going. And so now, um, most recent test, again, this is in SSD slot two. This is a 5,000 by 5,000, so 5,000 read by 5,000 write. Fire CUDA 520 PCIe 4.0. Um, that's Gen 4 SSD. And so we're trying to determine whether or not slot one, slot two, or slot just slot one. And so I'm gonna stop this recording on my screen now on my laptop. Um, and again, I'm just trying for, you know, for transparency, just trying to figure this out as we go um, with you, with, you know, together. And so that way we're making this discovery at the same time. Again, I was not able to find clear information on that in regards to the uh, the manual so let me shut this down here um, I'll turn this off okay so that's off and um, we're gonna go through this together okay and I don't have my let me make sure I'm still in frame all right still in frame looks to be still in focus and so now we're going to um, start taking this apart and we're going to switch the drives from SSD um, two to one, and then we're going to retest. And um, I have not gotten a 5,000 reading yet, or, or rating yet for a read or a write, but I've been right at 4,400 and some change, or 4,500 and some change consistently. Um, and I know they always give a you know max speed of up to. 5,000 so I wasn't I'm not expecting to get a 5,000 reading um, I think consistently I've been at that 4,400 4,500 mark um, which is what I would expect realistically um, So here we are again. We're here with the SSD2 slot, and that is my Fire CUDA slot, um, 520. And here is the SSD1. Um, it's a 2280 bracket, as you can see there. It's what it says on there. I don't know if you can see that because of the camera shine. Um, it has not been clear, you know, which one of these are. For one, I'm not. I wouldn't consider myself a, you know genius on this stuff right so i know enough to understand the workings of, of these components and to put a computer together and things like that um with this particular circumstance you have a 2280 2280 um body style that it takes a 2230 or a 2280 the only thing that you will see in the manual is that it can accommodate a 2280 as well as a 2230 with a um with a little, um, I don't know what you call it thing, um, to allow it to fit. But with that being said, it says that it can take a 2280 um, or 2230 or 2280 one terabyte uh, Gen 3, um, up to one terabyte Gen 3. And then there's my Fire CUDA coming out. Um, I'm gonna set it right here. Or it can take a Gen 4 up to two terabytes. Now it never says SSD1 is, you know, Gen 4 and SSD2 um, 
is gen three, you know, that would be information or, you know, a, a, you know, above my skill set, if you will. Um, so when I look at this, um, the pull this over here nice and slowly, okay. Um, when I look at this, and I'm trying to cover up my PC711 NVE NVMe Hynix 512 gigabyte, um, and this is a PCI Gen 3. So I mean, it's a uh, yeah, PCIe Gen 3. Let me cover up my little serials and all of that stuff. Um, but you can't probably can't see that, but yeah, this lens isn't gonna. Um, but this is a Gen 3, so this is a Gen 3 um, SSD right here, and so I'm gonna put this one into the SSD slot too battery this battery connector is in the way okay only get a click with the first one I guess all right and so it's weird because there's kind of a little, I don't know if you would call that a, it's just a sticker really. But the temperature on it was cooler than the actual stock hard, uh, stock hard drive. So I'm gonna keep that same energy because the temperatures actually were decent without it. And, and this one is known for having decent temperatures or at least the videos and research that i was able to find and do and so i'm going to leave this one in that way and then i'm going to use the heat sink still on the stock because that one was hot even though it had the heat it wasn't hot but it was it was warmer even though it had the even though it had the heat sink on it And looking at the numbers that I saw previously, the fastest one that I had was a sequential um, 4976 at Q8 T1, and then at sequential 128K Q32 T1, I had 4981.93, and then at the random 4K, I had the seven, uh, random 4K the Q32 T16, I had 778.34. And then random 4K Q1 T1, 56.99 from a read speed. And so this test is still going, but those numbers are faster than these numbers in slot one. And so that's pretty much confirmation that, well, two scenarios. <laughs> one, um, the Fire Cuda 520 is limited at that amount regardless of gen 3 gen 4 but that's unlikely because there are speed limitations to the gen 3 pcie um, slot um, 32 gigabytes a second if you will so um, the more realistic conclusion is that both slots are pcie 4.0 as always um, please like share and subscribe that helps the channel it helps get this video out I think this is one that's important that people will want to know about um, as they make their decisions again inconclusive for me is whether or not because I don't have two drives is whether or not both drives will perform at the gen 4 level 
if you have two. But what we do know is that both slots are capable of Gen 4. Um, it's just interesting, again, that if you had two terabyte, two two terabyte Gen 4 drives as they come from from Dell, that one of them potentially would not have Gen 4 performance. However, that is interesting that you can only order them in a RAID 0, meaning that it creates a four terabyte RAID 0 between the two. And that would make perfect sense because if only one of them is gonna give you Gen 4 performance, you put them into a RAID to speed up the performance. Um, so maybe that's our answer. Only one Gen 4 is capable at a time, but if you have two, put them in a RAID. So until next time, um, stay cozy in that crazy world, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.